Good morning. Happy New Year. My first video of 2020. Hopefully there'll be a lot more. It's so one of my New Year's resolutions or goals is to make lots of videos. Just drinking my lemon water. Speaking of New Year's resolutions, I just signed up for a marathon. What did I just do, YouTube? <laughs> On May 3rd, that gives me what? January, February, March, April, four months to train. Thank goodness, <laughs> I need it. I ran a ton in November and it was great. And then December, it kind of just like dwindled and very all or nothing. So I hope I can be in the all for the next four months because if I were to run it tomorrow, probably take me over four, five hours. Yeah, probably about five hours. And I hope to, well, just finish the race. Yeah. But if I can do it in four hours, that would be incredible. But just finishing would be incredible. <laughs> just made a tea. Here it is. Um, I just put three tea bags of, ooh, that's hot. Um, three tea bags of raspberry leaf tea. I started drinking like a ton of it because I get the worst period pain on the first day of my period, like cramping, nausea, vomiting, everything. And raspberry leaf is supposed to help. So I'm gonna try and drink like four tea bags a day. I should probably get the loose leaf tea because I feel like this is very wasteful. But thank you. So I'm going to drink a ton of this every day. Also nettle leaf tea is supposed to help as well, which I've been drinking. But I also bought this tincture, which I feel like is more effective because you get more. And I don't have to like drink a whole tea. I'll be drinking tea and peeing all day. Um, so those two are the main ones that are supposed to help. So I want to try and have four tea bags of raspberry leaf, um, maybe like two or three nettle leaf tea bags or two full droppers, pretty big, uh, this a day. And then in the evening, either some lemon balm tincture or two tea bags of that. And I'll do that, my period just ended, so I have the whole month of January to try that out and see how it works. I don't know how long you would need. I feel like a month should be enough if I'm drinking like a ton of it every single day, but you do need a lot. gonna do a really easy couple of kilometers nice and slow and then at the end maybe I'll do like 10 minutes or five to ten minutes of some sprints um or like more like race pace just to work on my speed because I'm slow <laughs> okay and then we'll have some more food when I get back <laughs> got back to a nice 30 minutes um yeah pretty tired but it was good all showered up stretched and now I'm gonna have lunch well it's more of like a snack because I had my smoothie at like 12 30 um and now it is 3 17 so if I have like a full meal probably won't be that hungry till like eight o'clock at night and I want to have dinner at a normal time. Just going to have this lettuce, just some um, iceberg and romaine um, dates, and these three large bananas. 
So it's only 3.40, but I'm going to start some dinner prep because it's gonna get dark and I wanna film it while it's still light out and you can see. Um, I'm gonna make sweet potato falafels, which I've never made before, so just gonna kind of wing it and I hope they're good. So I'm just gonna prep it now and then when I'm ready to eat later, I'll put them in the oven, so. I don't know. I think they'll be good. How could like chickpeas and sweet potatoes really go wrong? The only thing I'm worried about is like them not really baking well, but whatever. Um, so yeah. And then I'm also gonna make like a dressing, like a tahini hummus kind of dressing. I'm gonna start with roasting this clove of garlic. In the food processor, I'm going to put chickpeas two baked sweet potatoes from yesterday that I already baked. Um, I'm just gonna put one in for now and see how that goes. I'm gonna peel most of the skin off of parsley that I've washed. That in. Probably like a tablespoon. Curry powder, onion powder. Here they are. Baked them for like probably close to an hour. I ended up squishing them down because I thought they would bake a little bit better, which they're pretty good. Not falling apart. potato wedges here ready to go in the oven all spiced up okay so I'm gonna make the dressing now so I have a few chickpeas with some of the liquid from the can in here um, I have the peeled roasted garlic I know it looks like a lot but I like it garlicky. <laughs> and then I have about a quarter of a lemon tahini. Um, I don't really have much left. Maybe about a tablespoon, so I'll just use all of it. Paprika, about a teaspoon of each. And some black pepper. Try a falafel. <gasps> so good. These are a little bit soft. Not sure how to make them less soft, but the flavor, especially with that like hummus dressing, oh, it's really good. Yeah, so I'm probably just gonna have this and that'll be it. I'm gonna have a ton of potatoes. I'm really hungry. Um, yeah, they're really good with the dip too. Should not be eating and talking. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like if you did and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.